piston in. Is he in the cylinder? Right, okay. Okay, so these are rectangular section, these rings, sometimes they're keystone, which means they taper towards the inside of the middle of the piston. These could go in either way up. Generally, good practice is if there's a letter on the top, face that towards the crown, and there's a letter R on these, so uh, that's what we'll do. So where's the ring pegs? Ring pegs are both on the opposite the exhaust port. So let's get these open. Slot them in. Same again. They're not too stiff, these. And then spring the ring around so it lubricates it. That way, the rings are less likely to get trapped. So we'll put one piston circuit in advance of the. I don't generally like circuits with tails, but they'll do. And the good practice is normally to uh, leave the gap at the top or the bottom because less likely to squash. No, that's not in properly yet. That's it, that's sat now. Give it a twist and make sure it's happy. Right, that's in. Okay. Nicely made gudgeon pin, which is tapered inside, so it's a bit lightweight. That went nice and easily. Arrow to the exhaust port and inlet holes on the inlet side. Uh, this is where the circlet goes pinging off down into the crankcase. No, it's not. That's it. Right. And the same again, gap to the bottom. Give it a rotate, make sure it's definitely sat in the groove. So then the base gasket, now you see there's really not much room aluminium there between uh, the edge of the um, stud hole and the gasket. So. Again, I'm going to be quite generous with the gasket sealant on this one. I'm sealing this now without checking the squish because we haven't got another gasket, so the squish is going to be whatever the squish is. This is our, uh, our only option. I seem to remember last time we did this, the squish was big anyway. 1.8 mil. Okay, I've got a bit of wipe off the piston there. Seal it on that side. A bit of seal it on there. A two stroke oil in the bore. That's got a bit of lubrication on start up. That's the first ring in. So there's a nice chamfer on the bottom of the barrel, so it's not too bad. That's it, it's gone. Okay. This is going to seal anyway, be fine because it's got eight fastenings, so. Not really, probably doesn't need any sealant, but a bit locked tight on. Make sure there's not too much inside, it's going to go in the bore. Now, some of these holes are offset, aren't they? To uh, the cylinder head. I've put the dowels in yet, that's not right, is it? Because you can see the holes are out mm -hmm. of line. I think we're going to have to open that hole in that gasket a little bit. Four plain nuts, four washers and not nuts. So it must be plain nuts and washers. So that's a top tip for this. Yeah. So if you get a piece of paper and you stick the nut down the side of it, then you can just use it to screw onto the... Easy because it stops it sinking too far into the into the socket. Put a little bit of lock tight on these because they've got no washers on. Don't think they're gonna come loose anyway, but yeah. Okay, that's that tight. That's it, 18 foot pounds. 18 foot pounds on all those. I shall go and back and do the other screws the same as well. We're operating without the instructions. But this is just a general one for uh, bikes with aluminium cylinders and 8mm studs. Okay. So I think that's on. A bit of luck. Just need some way to turn the uh, turn the crank. So 
given that we've only got one base gasket, we can only just make sure this is safe. So I'll just turn that past there. <laughs> Didn't feel like a lot there. huge well that's I would say that base gasket might be a bit too thick but I don't have it's yeah. certainly safe we'll give yeah. it that um, I'll tell you what we'll do we'll, do, we'll squash it doubly Two point three eight mil and two point two. I remember I had one point eight, so it could be that this is the thicker base gasket. It'll run with it. It'll probably be fine, but it might want a tighter squish if we could get mm -hmm. it. 